Okay, hello, welcome back. Um, I'm Red King, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Tournament Stream Helper. I use this for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You don't have to. This can be used for so many different games. Like, I, I can't even name how many. I'll leave this in the description, by the way. So, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to Code, um, click Download Zip. Okay, I won't do it because I already have it installed. So, let me go here, and then you click on Tournament, a uh, Tournament, you know, a Tournament Stream Helper, and we'll click on that, and then click on, uh, P-S-H-E-X-E, and it will load, okay, for, it, it loaded on my second monitor, sorry. And, what you want to do from here, is you, you might have all this, oh, give me a second. You might not have all this. So you want to go to target wi toggle widgets. I'm sorry, I can't speak. And turn on all of these. And you'll also want to go to download ass um, assist. Or whatever. And then you'll want to delete this first game. Because I don't, I don't know. Unless you want to play this first game. And if you are going to play a different game with this on. What you could do is you could type in that game's name. Like... Uh, yeah, arms, like arms, just anything, there's so many different games, but for this tutorial, I will be doing S um, SSBU, or Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, SS, oh yeah, I forgot, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, okay, and then from here, you will want to click on this, or hit click download, download, Every single one of these, click download until there is a check mark beside all of them. Okay. Then after that, you can uh, you can pause the video so you can get all that done. And after that, you can click close. Okay. And then um, oh yeah, this I will uh, show you how to do this real quick. Also, click if you want to. You could just type in their names like. Yeah, TB Red King, and if you want to save it, click uh, click a save new player. But what I what I like to do because I host tournaments, and even if you don't host tournaments, as long as it has, as long as you have start.gg link, right, you're fine. So what you'll do from here is after you have a start.gg link, I'll, you'll go to it. Oh, sorry. Copy it. See? Um, and if you don't know how to copy it, it's Control C, by the way. And then you'll Control V to paste it. And then click OK. And then after you do that, I'm using one of my old tournaments, for example, by the way. After you do that, you'll click on Load from uh, the website. Like, right. And I'm going to click show completed sets because, and then whenever you want to go and stream a set, right? Like, for example, uh, you're streaming, streaming grand finals. Well, no, I won't do grand finals because they're both playing random. You're streaming uh, loser semis, right? Okay. Trying to show up. It'll, it will automatically load their name, their sponsor if they have any, their real name, their Twitter pronouns um they're like their general location so like if they set in their location on um on start.gg that's what it'll be and this was a tennessee only tournament so that's why everyone's gonna be tennessee in this tournament and then yeah that and if uh if you want to do it the other way you can go here chain click the characters you know Boom. They also have a bracket. This is for... I don't know. It's hard to explain. They have thumbnails where it'll make their your own uh, thumbnails. And this is a logo for my brand. Oh yeah, I forget. If you go to um, tournament icon, you can load your own logo. If you have a picture of it on it, saved on your computer. You can add your own rule set, which if you do my way of adding a set tournament, 
then you won't have to do that. It will automatically show the stages from the rule set you've had pick uh, on start.gg. Okay, then once you want to get it on the OBS, which would, you know, oh yeah, I forgot I need that. I will put this to, si to the side for a second. Take my OBS, put it right here so y'all guys can see it. And then here is the same file I opened earlier. You don't want to click on anything else. Um, except layout. Or, tr or this, right? So click layout. And then you can go to bracket, whatever, blah, 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 blah. If you want a screen like this, the versus screen for me, this is my uh, this is my favorite screen. It's based off of Tekken, and um, and whenever whenever they play, it's this for me. Okay, so you'll go to layout. Okay, layout. This is this is the versus screen I use. So I'll just set it as an example. Um, and then you'll drag, oh, not the index, you'll drag the index.html, drag that in here, okay, and it's not going to be big enough, so you're going to want to resize, you're going to want to resize it to 920 by 1080, so, um, 20, Ten eighty. Look, it's full screen now. Let me delete that so you don't have to see it. Um, so you can do that with that. You can also go to layout. See, they have uh, other other games. Um, that you can like do the thing for. They have. A different versus screen they have tournament history which will show all you gotta do is click on these uh, click on these folders and if you want to see a preview click preview and if you want to like add it to your thing just drag and drop it and um I mean really that's that's all you need to know I covered pretty much everything um, just remember, set the tournament. If you don't want to play Smash, if you don't want to do the Smash one, uh, set a different one. And see so ya. Yeah, that's it.